Hello and welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland and in this video series I would like to walk you through three really powerful data transformation tools in Power Query. In the final fourth episode of this series I will show you an example where we can combine all of these functions to transform an ugly duckling to a beautiful swan. But first of all please drop a like to this video and hit the subscribe button. Clicking on the bell icon will bring you good luck. As we are going to talk about Power Query, you can use these methods in Power BI and in Excel as well. But what are these operations? We are going to cover transpose, pivot columns and unpivot columns. It doesn't matter which video you are going to start with. I'll add the links to all videos to the end of each one and to the description below. Make sure to watch all of them to know when to use which one. So today we are going to talk about pivot columns. And just a friendly reminder, as this topic is a bit more technical, do not expect fancy report designs. With that out of the way, let's jump into this. The pivot column option allows us to aggregate values for each unique value in a column. It's essentially the same as a pivot table in Excel. We all love that feature, am I right? However, in Power Query, with the pivot column, we have to approach things a bit differently. Let me walk you through a couple of examples as it will be a bit easier to understand how to use this feature. Imagine that we receive a table like this from someone. This data export structure is probably something that you are all familiar with as it is just simply places fields from ERP systems into columns. But what if you don't want to see all transactions? You are only interested in the number of transactions by customer by date. We are about to explore a way to make it happen. Please keep in mind that as we are using Power Query to transform our data, we can use this method both in Excel and Power BI. So what do we want our data structure to look like? Ideally, we want to achieve something like this. To start with, we have to head over to the transform page on the ribbon and find the pivot column button. Once we click on it, a pop-up window will appear where we can teach Power Query how to aggregate our data. There are basic and advanced ways of doing that. By default, Power Query will try to summarize values, but under the advanced options, we can change the function from sum to something else. Let's select our sales column as values. And as we want to see the number of transactions, we need to select count all as a function. Then we just click on OK. And we are done. This is going to show us the number of transactions by date and by customer. The second example is about fields that we cannot aggregate. A table like this is a good way to showcase this option. And we want to achieve this structure as our final result. We need to pivot based on the driver field. Click on transform, pivot column, select driver standing as our value column and under advanced option select don't aggregate as our value function and this looks great please remember that in most real life use cases you will probably end up utilizing a combination of the three data transformation techniques to achieve a data structure that you can easily use and analyze. Thanks for joining me today. Hopefully with this demo, you will be able to improve your data transformation skills. Make sure to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss a new episode. Until then, see ya.